Hi everybody. In this video, we'll be learning how to install Eclipse IDE for Java development on the Mac operating system. Now, before we can install the IDE, we need to see if we have Java installed on the system or not. Now to do that, let's open search, type in terminal. I already have it typed in. Open the terminal and here type in Java hyphen version hit return now as you can see i have java version 12.0.1 installed on the system i have java runtime environment also set up on the system now with this setup i can download and install the ide run some java programs and even develop them now for those of you who don't have java installed in the system when you type in java space hyphen version you will probably see a pop-up saying Java is not installed in the system. Well, not to worry. I will leave a link in the description. Please go ahead and go through it. Uh, it'll guide you through all the steps that are required for you to install Java in the Mac operating system. Now, once we're done installing Java, we can get back to the video and see how we can install the Eclipse IDE on the Mac operating system. So now let's go ahead and download the Eclipse IDE and install the same. Open any browser. I'll open Chrome. Type in Eclipse download for Mac. Now you'll see a lot of results. Open the very first one. It's by Eclipse Org. Now on the site, we can see we have Eclipse ID 2019. Now let's not download it by hitting this orange button. Let's click on download packages. Now on the screen, we can see there is an Eclipse installer available for Mac OS X, Windows and Linux. Let's go ahead and download the Mac version 64 bit. Now you're redirected to another page where you see a download button. Click on it. Now you'll notice that the Eclipse installer has started downloading. Now once the download is complete, we can install the Eclipse IDE for Java development. So once the download is complete, let's open the file in its folder. Let's click on show in folder. I'll move the file to a different location. I'll copy the file, go to documents, and I have a folder created called Eclipse. I'll open the Eclipse folder and I will paste it here. Go ahead and double click on the Eclipse installer. Now let's go ahead and double click on the Eclipse installer. Now it's giving us a message saying that the Eclipse installer is downloaded from the internet and it's asking if we are sure if we can open it. Now let's go ahead and click on open. Now you can see that the Eclipse installer has started running. Now as you can see here, the Eclipse installer is giving us the option to install Eclipse for different setups. We also have the Eclipse editor for different types of languages. We can see Eclipse is available for C, C++. Of course, Eclipse is also available for different languages like PHP, etc. But these are some of the default options that we see here. Let's go ahead and click on Eclipse ID for enterprise Java developers. Now here we see the default installation folder. Let's not change it. Let's go ahead and click on install. Now, Eclipse is giving us the user agreement. Please read through the agreement before you click on accept now. I have installed Eclipse before, so I'll go ahead and click on accept now. Now, as you can see, the Eclipse installer has started the installation process. Now the installer is asking us to review a few licenses. Please go ahead and review them before you click on accept. 
I'll click on remember accepted licenses and click on accept. It's continuing the installation process. Now, as you can see here, Eclipse is asking us to trust a few certificates. Let's go ahead and select them both and click on Accept Selected. It's continuing the installation. Well, there we go. We, we get the message that the installation is complete. Now, all we need to do is click on Launch. Let me go ahead and launch the application. Now Eclipse is asking us to select a workspace. Now all the code and all the Java programs and the Java projects that we develop will be in this workspace. Now we can select the default one. If you choose to have a different directory, please click on browse and change the directory. I'll keep the default one and click on launch. Well, there you go, guys. Eclipse has started. Now you're greeted with a welcome screen. There are a lot of options here. Now it says here we can create a new JavaScript project. It's also giving us an option to create a new Java web project. So there are a lot of options here, but let me go ahead and close the welcome screen. Now this is the Eclipse editor screen. Let me maximize it. Now this is the Eclipse IDE. Now we've successfully downloaded and installed the Eclipse IDE. We can start developing Java programs and I will leave a link in the description with a basic program and we can start our development from here. So thank you for watching guys. Do like and subscribe.